2019 is coming to a close and the new year is just around the corner. And today I'm going to be sharing with you some thoughts about the future of this channel and the content I'm curating, what I've learned over the last year of making YouTube videos and what I'm actively implementing in 2020 into my life from a self-improvement and habit building standpoint. Firstly, I want to say thank you to those who watch my videos. It means a lot to me. Even if you're new here and this is the first video you're watching of mine, I still appreciate you being here. I've uploaded 20 videos this year to the channel, including this one, we'll make it 21. But for the next year, I'm looking to put out content on a more regular basis. And for 2020, I'm looking to upload 52 videos. In more recent videos, I've started to talk around topics of productivity, self-improvement and building good habits. And that's something that I will continue to talk about and make videos on, because that's something I really enjoy making videos about. And I've also talked about tech a bit, and the way that links to productivity. So I'll probably make more stuff related to that as well. I also wanna add that I think curating what you are really passionate about and interested in is so important. The tactical piece of YouTube growth advice would be to niche down and only make content around one topic. But really right now, I just wanna create videos which I want to curate, not to feed the algorithm, not to just get views. I just wanna make videos that I enjoy making and that can help other people as well. For example, a video I love to create is showing you my desk setup. And even if I go down the route of doing mainly self-improvement videos, there will be time to time where I make videos that will not be related to it, such as my desk setup or my workspace tour or anything like that. I think that our workspace contributes to our productivity, so technically it is somewhat related anyway. Something that I've really taken away over the last year of making videos on this channel is to do around perfectionism. One being that I should stop trying to create what I would think as a perfect video because sometimes looking at everything that I put into one video that made like so, I put so much hours into it, it made me like see, okay, now I don't even want to get started because I've tried to make this perfect video. And instead I should, you should focus on getting out more videos and creating more quantity than trying to make one video so perfect because then you can get to your skill set even better by putting out a volume of more videos. And just like Peter McKinnon says, done is better than perfect. But I still think a high production quality is important. If we're in this world of making films, making videos, I want it to be high, high production. I want there to be attention paid to the camera, the lighting, the audio, everything. So when watching it, it's well polished. It's pleasing for the person to watch. They're taking time out of their day to watch it. So I want it to be a good quality video. And for example, instead of trying to make your next video 50% better than the one you made before, Instead, I think with each video, you should just try to get at least 1% better. Because say I just focus on the audio for this video, then the next one I focus, okay, maybe I'm gonna learn some more about animations. And then the next one, maybe I'm gonna make more on the background of what I've got in position to make it look better. It's just 1%, 1%, 1%. So then after you make 100 videos, you're gonna be 100% better than you were 100 videos ago. And that's why instead of trying to spend loads of time to learn everything at once in one video. If you just add, add, add a little bit each time, you go through this volume of content, the volume of creating, and that will just, that will lead you to getting better. Something that I want to put a bigger attention on this year in 2020 is to building good habits. And while I've put quite a bit of attention in 2019, for 2020, I want to make it a bigger priority for me. And there are some habits that I really want to put attention on that I know that will take time, but I know that the benefits are, could be exponential. One way that I'm doing this is to take on more self-improvement experiments and challenges. After seeing these challenges popularized by the likes of Nathaniel Drew and Matt Diabella, and trying quite a few in 2019 myself, for 2020, I wanna take on more of these challenges. And I'm starting off in January by doing 30 days of no social media. I've done seven days of no social media and that was interesting, but I feel like the benefits, I didn't reach the full benefits because I didn't go to 30 days. So for January, that is a challenge I'll be doing. I'll be announcing all of the challenges that I'm doing on my Instagram, so you can follow me over there if you wanna keep updated with that. Rules including no consumption of content on social media sites and apps deleted from my phone for the full 30 days. I can upload to sites if I want to using third-party apps. Also, I'm not including YouTube because I see it more as of a platform and a search engine that I use both as a curator and a consumer of content. Also, I wanna put a more of an emphasis on mental clarity and getting rid of brain fog. Some things that I've seen that have led to this is being like unproductive and getting distracted and not being able to focus for long periods of time on a task. And I've seen that people have said that building habits is one of the good ways to go about it, but we'll just see over the year what I could do and what I do and what, how that contributes to mental clarity. Also, I want to say a massive thank you to Nathaniel Drew, who uploaded a video called 
here's how to reinvent yourself in 2019. I found that really valuable and after watching it, I decided to start bullet journaling and tracking my habits. And I've seen so many positive benefits from that, such as an increase in productivity and a way that has been very useful to track my goals. Also in that video, I mentioned Nathaniels gives some very good advice around building good habits. And in this new video, he introduces this pyramid as a pyramid to mental clarity. And I recommend that you check them out. I'll leave the links to those in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Hit the bell for 2020. This is the last video of the year. Oh, and then the last video of the decade as well then. Wow. So, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys very soon.